The first time I met Joan Bennett was a lovely experience. I was nervous, and I think she was too, which made me feel even better, because she, of course, brought to us a great deal of experience and glamour. But she looked at me as though she were going to, as if she were to say, if you get this job, I hope you do, because I think we're going to be brothers and sisters as well off the stage as on, which is exactly what happened. And we had, we got to know each other pretty well during those five and a half years. She was always a little anxious about her lines because it didn't work that way in Hollywood, and so she made special care of being coached by someone on a Sunday afternoon for the, rest, for the following week's work. And I would come over, if I was going to be on that week, uh, at sort of the end of that session, so that when we finished running our lines together, party time could start, the cocktail tray would roll in, and we would have a good time uh, talking about her life and and what little there was of mine. And that's how I began to get to know her, and then it evolved into seeing her in the country and out at my house and later on in Scarsdale. But we were very close. We were literally like brothers and sisters, yes. I'll never forget the very first day when I, when I met her. I was a little bit shy and, um, uh, well, I was very shy. And I saw her sitting over in the corner in a, in a pink suit, and she had blue glasses on. And Nancy Barrett introduced me to Joan. And I went over, and, um, and the warmth. I mean, she was, like, she, was, she was like a mother, like a warm, wonderful woman. And she just reached out and, and took my hand, and there was that wonderful voice. And uh, just made me feel so at home and so, well, now I'm here and I'm, I'm, I'm ready to work. But she was just divine, and she had so many wonderful stories, and and uh, and I learned so much from her. She was just divine at all of the rehearsals and and so on. She's a very special woman, and I I miss her terribly. I have a clear memory in those early days of Joan Bennett opening the double doors to Collinwood and saying, "Welcome." to Hollywood. Now, it's possible that I invented this, but my memory of it is so clear that I can't believe that it didn't at least happen once during rehearsal. Uh, Joan was one of the most professional people I've ever worked with. As professional is sort of bandied about a bit, but it said that an amateur is someone who practices until he, he gets it right, and a professional practices until he cannot get it wrong. And Joan did. She would rehearse with us all, she would run lines, she did her homework, she was wonderful. One, I remember one incident. Uh, she was leaning over my shoulder while I was to be writing something on a pad, whatever, who knows what I was writing on it. And just as the camera came up and the finger from the <laughs> like this, I saw on the pad it said, Twinkle, twinkle, little star, what a horse's ass you are. Well, my tongue went on with the scene was all finished because I was a little embarrassed with her leaning over me because I would not have even said anything that vulgar in front of her, you know? <laughs> and. Uh, I said, who the hell wrote that? She said, I did. Uh, one of my husbands, she said, I came home from a late night shoot and that was pinned to my pillow and he was gone. <laughs> so that's uh, the, the most, I suppose, memorable moment with her that I had. One of the things that I, I cherish most in my memories of Dark Shadows is of the people that I met and worked with. Uh, um, Joan Bennett, she was such a lovely, warm person, and and uh, my first real association with someone who'd been a Hollywood star, and uh, it was it was so gratifying to find, you know, that she was real people and nice people, and had a good set of standards. Joan Bennett has left me with nothing but wonderful memories. I just wish that she could be with us now to tell us her impressions of the show, but my impressions of her are only good. Uh, I remember the first day of rehearsal, I was kind of excited about working with a star like Joan Bennett because in her time she had 
been a really big star. But she was so down to earth. She was so unstarlike in her behavior toward us. She was so real that uh, it, we quickly lost any feeling we had about being self-conscious. She was a very generous person. She would offer to run lines with any member of the cast. Now that is very rare. Both actors are so concerned about their own parts that they have got time to worry about other people. But she did. I would come in in the morning and there'd be nothing but fluorescent lights on. Rehearsal lights are merciless. She would look beautiful. She had no makeup on. All the actors and actresses came in with no makeup on because they knew they'd be made up. She just looked beautiful. She looked beautiful in just her natural skin and her natural eyes. And also, she was generous with herself as a a working person. I came in, say, and the production assistant had to set up chairs for rehearsal. She'd start helping us. She would start, I said, Joan, you'd make a wonderful production assistant. She was just great. She was nothing but generous. And I used to see her sometimes. She would get dressed up to go out after the show. She had an appointment. She would look so glamorous and so beautiful. And her, her inside was just as nice as her outside. Working with somebody of that stature, and just coming into the studio and, and having scenes to work with her and stuff of that sort. And, and it was just the height of professionalism. And you never really got the, the impression that she was who she was, you know. She was uh, quite down to earth and really a, a quite a wonderful woman to, to work with and to know, you know. When I first met Joan, I was absolutely in awe of her as being a movie star. Um, and then I was very impressed with her professionalism. She was always prompt, always prepared. And at the same time, she was very accessible. And now when I think of her, I always think of her laughing. Um, but more and more uh, I admire her, the, the more that I, I think back about her attitude toward her work. And I think at that point, from the level of stardom and the level of glamour, that she had had to come to what was a, f a fairly rough show in the beginning because there wasn't a lot of um, uh, experience um, in making this kind of show. And she handled it so well with such grace and professionalism um, that she really was an inspiration to all of us to kind of stay in line um, because I think we could get giddy from nerves. And, and she was um, um, a very steady hand there and, and at the same time always fun and always warm and the more I got to know her the more I admired and loved her. <laughs>